Okay, C2 IRV here again. <clears throat> I'm making a very short video. Um, just to give an example of uh, one of the antennas I use for HF. I use a, I have a 40 meter, 20 meter fan dipole that I use. And uh, it works rather well. It's not very really high off the ground, but uh, I've had very good success with it. And uh, a 20, uh, a fan dipole is essentially a dipole with multiple um, radiators coming from the, uh, the center insulator. Um, you can make them for 80, 40, 20. And the one advantage of having of having that, say something for 80 and 40, or having a 40 and 20, is that it has a tendency to load up on uh, other harmonics and radiate well on other harmonics of the band. Um, like, believe it or not, my 40, 20 loads up very well on, uh, on 15 and 10 and radiates well. So, um, of course, I'm using a tuner. And pretty much I have the, if they're hard to see, it's made a 14 gauge bare copper. You can see the center insulator up here. Um, and essentially I have it, uh, the 40 meter portion is pretty much stretched flat. It goes up to a tree over there. I don't even know if you can see it or not. Um, you may not be able to. So um, I've got that. It goes up to a tree up there. It's probably about 30 feet in the air. And then it goes down to the end to a tree. It kind of slopes down and goes over there to a uh, to a um, uh, a tree with just a rope. And you can see, getting up close to it, the the legs. Uh, I use these PVCTs, and it just goes down. The wire goes down to a bucket. And these are buckets that actually had. had plants in and they just had some dirt and I used them as a uh, as kind of a um, a place to tie my line to I use a uh, on my ropes a taut line hitch it's a knot that you can adjust you can slide it up slide it down so that I can tighten the uh, uh, the wires as necessary and uh, it'll stay where you put it as long as you've tied it right so I have you know I have a bucket there with the one radiator sloping down and then the other one there and this is the 20 meter portion that's set up as as an inverted V off of uh, the center insulator of the 40 and I'm just using paracord for that and then I'm using a uh, an LMR 195 double shielded cable which is uh, basically an RJ58 equivalent you can use RJ58 connectors except it's double shielded it's got a foil and braid so, um, I use these little, um, one-inch PVCTs. They work really, really well for making center insulators. Um, for a center insulator and also the ends. So you can see what I do at the ends is I just drill a hole for the wire. And with these, I don't, even, I don't even solder the wire. I just wrap it enough time so it doesn't pull so that I can adjust it if necessary. And then I just have paracord loop through here. And it makes a it makes a great uh, uh, end and center insulator. So um, that's about it for now. Um, I'm actually working on an 80 meter dipole right now to hang up, and uh, I'm going to hang that in a different spot on the property. And we'll see how well that works. I'm going to hopefully uh, try that out tonight. Um, once again, uh, leave uh, anything in the comments section that you would like me to possibly make a video about and I'll see if I can do it. So anyway, 73 is for now.